Hello, this is a tutorial for Blender for Dummies second edition. I'm Jason Van Gumster, the guy that wrote the book, and uh, I'm going to walk you through this whole mess. This tutorial is on extruding and all the fun stuff that you can do with do with extruding. And uh, it's meant to accompany chapter 4. So, let's get this ball rolling. We're going to basically make a skyscraper with nothing but extruding. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the transform manipulator. I don't really need it for, for modeling. I like to get rid of it, so I just hit that button. Or you can hit shift space, I'm sorry, control space, and that gets rid of it for you. Same sort of thing. Now, we're going to do everything here from our default cube, from our starting cube. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tab into edit mode. So hit tab. And I'm going to push myself to the right side view by hitting 3 on the numeric keypad. So now we're in the 3 right side view. Now, by the way, you could also do that by going to view and picking the right one here, which in this case would be right, which is, of course, numpad 3. Now, next thing we want to do is we want to translate everything up one unit. So we could just very easily grab this and pull it up and sort of try and guess where it is. If we hold control, it snaps. So you can see it snapping in the direction we want. But the really easy way to do this is I can hit G, Z, because I'm going in the Z axis, and 1. And it goes up one unit. And you can see that all, well, the mouse is moving all crazy on me here. But you can see that all down here in the bottom left hand corner uh, in the header of that. So once I hit that, G, Z, 1, enter, and uh, we're ready to rock. And you can see I, over here, I translated it in the Z axis. Uh, one unit. Now that we have our cube moved up a little bit, we're going to orbit the 3D view a little bit so we can see what's going on here. And get myself a good view. I want to see at least most of the sides here. And I'm going to switch to face select mode. Now you can do that one of two ways. You can use these three buttons down here, uh, vertex, edge, and face. Or I can hit control tab while I'm in edit mode here, and I can choose which one I want. In this case, I'm going to switch over to face mode. Same sort of thing. Notice how that gets highlighted down there. Um, now what we want to do is select the topmost face right there. Now again, that's a right click. Uh, if you went into preferences and changed that, you can, but uh, for the all intents and purposes, I'm using the defaults here. So right click and select that top face. And what we're going to do <laughs> is actually get rid of it. And you get rid of it by just hitting X, and you're going to choose uh, vertices in this case. So we're actually getting rid of all the faces here, this face, and all the vertices that connect it, which means all of these other faces are going away too. So X, vertices, gone. And now we have just that one little face sitting there at the bottom there. Now we can play a little bit. So I'm going to select everything, which in ca this case is just this face zoom in a little bit here so I can actually see what's going on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a multiple subdivide on it. Uh, there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can actually subdivide it a couple times or do loop select. But the easiest thing to do is just hit W, which is your specials menu. Choose subdivide. Now you have your last operations panel over here or you can press F6 and get a floating one if you happen to keep this hidden by hitting uh, T and getting rid of it. But if we hit that, we want two cuts. So now we have two cuts. You can see one, two, one, two, right? So we've got two cuts on our subdivision here. Works out pretty nicely. Um, you can also do this from the mesh menu and, and go in here and find it, but the hotkeys are always way, way faster. Now we want to switch ourselves over to edge select mode. Now again, you can click right there or do control tab edge. Either way works fine. Me personally, I like the hotkeys because, well, hotkeys are speedy and fast and awesome. Alright, from edge select mode here, the next thing we want to do is we want to use one of our selection tools. And we want to select these corners here. So you can use shift right click and select all the way around. Uh, you could use the circle select. By clicking that, 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 lasso, whatever your set fancy is. You can do lasso select by hitting uh, control, left click circle, or left click and drag, and that gets you, and again, we're in edge select mode, so it just selects the edges that we need. Any of these techniques work great. Now that we have these corners 
picked out, what we want to do is we want to extrude these out. We're going to basically create the walls. This is the floor to our building. We want to create sort of the, the fancy exterior to it. So in order to do that, we're going to extrude them uh, in this plane. This is our X, Y, sorry, X, Y plane here. We're going to extrude in that plane. So extrude, hotkey's awesome, just hit E. And now when you hit extrude, you're automatically in grab. So, but we want to scale this, right? We don't want to be grabbing it. We want to scale it and keep it in the plane. So notice I haven't hit anything else. I just hit extrude. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scale it. So I just have to hit S. Now I'm scaling, and that gets us close to what we want. I want to make sure that we're, you can look at it right now, and you can pretty much see that we're scaling in the XY plane. But just to be sure, I can hit Shift Z, and that guarantees that I'm locked right to that plane. So very because we want to be locked to the XY plane, if you hit Shift Z, which is the only axis that I'm not talking about, that sort of says don't scale in Z, scale in the other two, and it works up pretty nicely. And I want to scale about 1.1 units. And again, I could sort of eyeball it and figure it out, or I could just type 1.1. There we go. Hit enter, and we're good to go. So now we have sort of the basis of the profile for the bottom part of our building. And we're just going to build that all on up. So the next step, of course, is selecting everything. Press A until everything's selected. So in that case, I did it twice. Now we're going to extrude everything along the z-axis. It's going to pull that bad boy straight on up. So to do that, just extrude, and there you go. You're growing it on up. And uh, you can pick however many units you want. Me, I'm going to go three units. So again, you can look down here in the bottom left, the bottom left corner and see how many units you're moving. I'm going to say three. Or you could just type it. So I've moved mine three units out, and I have the first tier uh, of my skyscraper. With this region still selected, see, I'm going to look at the top here. With this region still selected, what I'm going to do is I'm going to inset this. So I have my tier, and I'm going to pull this all in just a little bit. So I'm going to extrude again, but I'm not moving up the z-axis. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to scale it again. And this time, again, I'll hit Shift-Z. So I'm lock I had to do it twice to get out of the Z and get into this one. Uh, and So I'm locked on that axis, and I can go in and out each way. This way I'm actually going in, and I'm going to go in by 0 0.9. 0 0.9. So I'm right there. Hit Enter. And now this guy's inset just a smidge. And I'm going to pull this up in the z-axis. So I just hit G for grab. And again, I can eyeball it, but if I hit Z, then I'm definitely locked to it. So it's G, then Z, and I'm going to go about 0.1 units. So I can, again, I can eyeball it, or I'll just hit 0.1. Done. Hit Enter, and now we have a nice little sort of growing up for our top of our building here. Now, the, the next few steps is actually pretty easy. You just repeat this for as many levels as you want in the building. I want to do three levels, and I'll just show you. It goes really, really quickly. So I'm going to extrude up Z. I'm going to go, say, two units this time. So I did three. Yeah, I'll just go increment like that. So that's two units up. Bam. Again, I'll scale that down. So I'm going to extrude it, scale it, and the shift Z. I had to hit Shift Z twice because so, I had to get out of the regular scaling height. And I'm going to go on 0.9. Grab that up, 0.1, and the Z axis. And you notice it doesn't really matter what order I hit those in. I grabbed, and I hit 0.1, and then I hit Z, or you can grab Z, 0.1. Um, you can stay consistent, but as long as uh, Blender's pretty good at figuring out what you actually meant by that. So I've got two tiers. Let's go for the third tier. So I'm just going to extrude that one more up, and I'll say, is one unit going to look right? Uh, yeah, we'll go with one unit. So we'll just do that one unit. Enter. Same sort of thing again. I'm going to extrude, but I want to keep it locked to, I want to scale it then. I want to keep it locked to the XY plane, 0.9. Grab it up in the z-axis, 0.1. So g, z, 0.1. So I get that one little lip going on there. And now, now I get to put the cap on my skyscraper. So this, it's looking kind of like a building now. It's it's almost almost what I want. But I want to put a little sort of pyramid-shaped tip on this thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to do one more extrusion. 
So, just go extrude. Going up that, and I'm going to go, this one I am going to eyeball, because I'm going to keep it kind of stylized. So we'll say, uh, actually, we'll just go one full unit. I don't have to be too fancy with it. And then, from here, let me just scale this all in. Kerpal. Now I have a fancy building. Pull back, you can look around it. I can tab myself back into object mode, and we have ourselves a nice looking skyscraper. From here you can do all sorts of fun things, texturing and and uh, what have you. So I'll have this file on the C D on the DVD, I'm sorry, that comes with the with the book. And um yeah, have fun.